Hi, this is your Sapdin Bharti, and we are here at Open Source Summit in Vancouver. And today we have with us Gabriel Elmenor, your Director of Developer Relations at Permitio. Gabriel, it's good to have you on the show. Yeah, good to be here. Good to be at the conference. We cover permit on a regular basis, so you know, audience they don't know about permit. But what I want to talk to you about, especially here at the event, uh, finally AWS Day, you know open source, you know, Cedar. Mm -hmm. So first of all, just for a lot of folks who don't know, what is Cedar and what is its importance when it comes to, you know, identity access management? So Cedar is a policy language and mostly the first one that designed for application level authorization. So policy as code is not new, right? We see uh, the exponential growth of open policy agent uh, with the Rigo language for a couple of years now. But most of the languages used to be for the admission level, which services can go to where and what, what is the authorization level in deployments and machine. And for the last two years, we see a trend coming up together with Permit IO to do um, policy as code also in application. See the language that released by AWS show that even the tech giants believe in that idea. And this is what AWS come and say, we want application developer to declare policy instead of just write imperative policy in their software. And what does it you know, mean for the larger community and also ecosystem that AWS has kind of released a project? AWS also has a cloud product to support Cedar called AVP. Uh, Amazon verified permissions. But as you can see, they decided to release the Cedar as an open source, which gave the whole community a chance to create better software because access control is one of the most critical aspects of software, right? We can see in the uh, top 10 of OWASP, from the day of the beginning, there is one thing that is always in the top three, broken access control. In, it was broken authentication and then became broken access control because authentication is already in a good place today. But authorization is a still challenge. And the way that AWS come and say, hey, we don't want to keep it for us. We want to get the community develop a much safer and secured um, application by using our standards, by using our contracts, show how they believe that this is the future of application level authorization. How is it integrated and what does it mean for permit IO customers? The way that AWS released uh, Cedar is a language and a library to get policy decision. This library is actually written on Rust. Um, the product side, right, so policy is not only getting decision, it's also sync data. To get uh, policy decisions, you, get, you need data from a lot of resources, your identity management, your billing system, CRM system, external resources, could be anything. And um, the, way that AWS, the way that AWS release it, right, show that they are, they, they are saying, we want to give you the backbone, right? We want to give you the backbone to do what you need with us. And for Permit.io is actually a great chance because what Permit does in the open source area is the step above the abstraction level of policy engines, right? So there are a lot of policy engines out there. We mentioned Open Policy Agent and now also the Cedar engine. But you need a tool that help you orchestrate everything, that help you keep in sync the three parts the data that you get a decision based on, the policy that you declare in Git repository, and the enforcement point, the application that need to get decisions based on. Opal, Open Policy Administration Layer by Permit.io, is actually the only tool around, which is an open source tool, that get you um, deploy policies in scale. Okay? And when AWS released Cedar, they contact us like, month before they release it and say, hey, we see that you are not trying uh, to reinvent the wheel by developing policy languages or develop policy engines. We see that you are winning and excelling in having much better orchestration and administration around policy as code. And we want your insight about what we are doing. And then when they decide to release it open source, we said, why not? We will just join forces and have a better, a better open source for administration too. So we add and support in Cedar language and Cedar agent, which is another open source tool that we just released, 
um, in Opal, in Open Policy Administration layer. And for the day one, you can, ta- you can get a whole solution for uh, policy as code in application level authorization. What does it mean for other tools? Are you going to prioritize this one or it doesn't really matter, you are totally agnostic? Opal itself by definition, and I'm speaking now not on permit, but the open source of permit, Opal. Opal is actually agnostic to the policy engine and to the data that it's get. It's actually a pluggable system. You can plug policy engines and you can plug the many data sources that you want. In our plan and also People can find it in our GitHub open issues. We are planning to add support in more policy engines. The thing about policy engines and policy uh, languages, they are different with their purpose. So for example, if we look at open policy agent, it started as admission level language, but then shifted left into application level. This is why we based our cloud product now on open policy agent, because this is the wider support. But now we can see also CEDAR, which came from the application perspective, and the language and the engine is more fit for application. We can see, for example, Google Zanzibar implementations like OpenFGA that is more intent to be on a Reebok relationship-based access control. We see a lot of engines out there. We are trying to priority the order of the engine that we will implement in Opal, but if someone from the community feel the need in orchestrate or administrate more policy engine, we invite him to contribute to our open source or the community open source and make Opal excel in more policy engines. When we look at the whole cloud native landscape, Mm -hmm. one more tool, one more open source tool, uh, it's already a cloud market. The fact is that this complexity is not going to go away. No, there's just no way it's going to get more and more. What we have to do is to help customers deal with it, you know, to, to kind of lower the barrier of entry so they can leverage it. So also talk a bit about uh, uh, what does this mean for complexity and once again, how to make it easier for users. That's a great question. That's a great question. Uh, the thing with cloud native community is um, the community is the most, um, let's say, grow community around software, right? And the reason for that is because every day something new came, right? As you said, and as a dev tool developers, as the people who bring tools into that space, we need to think of people as our friend. We try to make them uh, software more, more simple. And the way we are thinking of permit, we said shift left is not left, is not end in the DevOps developer. We should shift left more. We should make all the deployment, all the CI CD transparent so application will have, will left to focus only with, with their application functionality. We can see now that you can create you know, complex application with chat GPT support. So what we are understanding is the more and more shift left, the more developer that will excel in a specific domain, in a specific language, and it is not any more technology, technology domain, right? I don't want developer to be um, excel in authorization or to be excel in security. I want developer to be excel in what they need to deliver now, what the business and value they need to deliver. And the way we see authorization now shifted left, so developer not need to worry anymore about the complexity. And they just simplify all the need with low code tools, with tools they can just deploy with one go of deployment script and then use it with no complexity and more bugs in their application as a good way to go. And this is why we believe that the cloud native now that you, you can see we've been in KubeCon like two weeks ago, and we see more and more developers that are not DevOps developers that coming there. You see, for example, platform engineering. Many people in platform engineering now are not DevOps developer. They are develop authentication system. They develop authorization system. And again, the reason for that is we are shifting left the simplification of creating complex applications. Uh, one more thing I want to ask you before we wrap this up is also when we talk about complexity, complexity also translates into cost. And companies are once again becoming more and more cost effective. So how is Permit also making that this is not another cost center that once again, not just a complexity, but helping companies also tame their cost? Uh, <laughs> again, a great question. Um, the thing about cost is fun because 
If you look today, we are deliver much more software than before, right? We, we all, for decades, in the area, in the landscape of software development. And we see that the amount of the functionality and application that we are developed it has exponential growth. And in the other end, we have more and more developers that work on stuff, and also the cloud cost is actually grow and grow. And as a DevTools developer, I don't want an uh, application developer to pay more. I want them to deliver more functionality. Right? So uh, if I'm developing an application for developers, if I'm developing uh, dev tools, my first set of mind is that I don't want them to give me money. I want them to deliver more functionality. And this is actually the key to get at, back to the previous question, is simplicity. The more I'm simplifying the way to deliver better software, the more I create way to deliver more functions. More functions equal low cost. Gabriel, thank you so much for taking time out today. Thank and you. of course, talk about Cedar Project uh, permits, you know, involvement in the project for early on and how you're making it easier and also not easy, uh, help with complexity and also cost. So thanks for those insights. And as usual, I would love to chat with you again soon. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon.